Hello, in this video I will be glazing or finishing the fretboard of my fretless base. So when I'm done, this one will have one of those glossy, fancy looking fretboards. Yeah, this helps to protect the fretboard wood and give it a different tone and feel. To do this, I already prepared some uh, epoxy resin. This is usually being uh, put on boats, but it should work also on the base. I never did this before, so it would either upgrade the base or completely ruin it. Okay, I'm preparing the base now. What I did so far is sand down the fretboard a little bit. Afterwards, I cleaned it off with some alcohol-based substance to get rid of all the grime and silicones. Uh, next step would be applying this tape to the edge of the fretboard. Okay, I put on the tape. Next thing to check is if the fretboard is really lying there horizontally. To check this, I'm having this water level. Yeah, this looks about right. Okay, time to mix together the epoxy resin and the hardener. Uh, according to the flyer, it will be 100 parts epoxy resin, 45 parts hardener. And then what's left to do is just paint it on, basically. Okay, I'm done with the sanding. Uh, this is what it looks like. Yeah, unfortunately I was having some uneven spots so I needed to sand it down to get it really even. I'm also having no buffing machine so I couldn't give it that mirror-like uh, shine. Um, yeah, but it feels really smooth so it should work really well. Uh, gonna put on the strings now and give it a try. Yeah, so unfortunately it's not glossy, but it feels really nice when playing it. Uh, some differences I've noticed so far is that the, the basic tone of the bass stayed the same, only the attack of the notes seems to be a little bit quicker. Also sustain seems to be slightly improved and stuff like tapping works better. Um, yeah, also 
now could use round wound strings without damaging the fretboard. And yeah, so in total, it's a nice improvement for the bass. And see you next time.